I'm past the point of, of, of caring. You know, again, I know. I've said it so many times, you know, we, we've seen what the public is willing to do to themselves and to everyone else in society. They were willing to, to, to basically torture and destroy people for three years with, with all yes. that fucking COVID nonsense and all of the other things, you know, of course, but allowing the, the uh, allowing young girls in the North be raped with yep. wanton abandon, you know, and do nothing. Allowing um, your entire industrial base to be sold, parceled out. Uh, allowing your capital city to be sold to foreign uh, real estate um, investors. And no one does anything. So again, I'm past the point of caring about any of this. Sounds like London or Washington, D.C. Yeah, or, yes, exactly. Now. Everywhere. I mean, yeah. you, you know, and there is nowhere to go to escape this. Uh, no. So, you know, I mean, if, pardon me for <laughs> seeming a bit black filled, but I, you know, I, I'm just going to lean back and, and all that phrase we all forgot about, which is just, you know, ride the tiger, you know, mm -hmm. uh, keep, keep, keep this nonsense well, out of my brain because it doesn't mean anything. I have to I have to offer value value free analysis on what's happening. <laughs> You're not value free. <laughs> you love Tony Blair. You can't wait for Labour to get back in. You've never changed. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I I agree with you on all of that, D. But AA asked me the question, so I yeah, like, no, I, told, I, I no, understand. Fuck off, democracy sucks, AA. Uh, yeah. I can't, I can't yeah. Well, I see, I would do that. That I'm I here to do that. You're here to actually have a conversation. I can't I'm come on the polite. show every week and just be like, read the populist delusion, twats. Read <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> What can I do? <laughs> you should, and by the way, I love, I love you. Up, the, you said up the workers. What workers? There aren't any war workers. <laughs> yeah, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know. <laughs> All yeah, that, all that I, lovely I don't know, I don't know what I don't anthracite <laughs> coal. It's all, it's all gone now. Yeah. I am not uh, a neoliberal. When was the last time I said anything neoliberal? I just, I just think that. <laughs> I just think that my serious value for analysis is, is that fucking Starmer and Blair wield executive power in a way the Tories just refuse to do for whatever reason. Yeah, so yeah, that's true. They mm. will actually, but if why... they say, "Oh, we're going to lock up criminals," they'll they'll do it in a way that the Tories just won't. Yeah, Tory, but if they right? say, "Look, we're we're literally going to flood your country with third world immigrants," they're going to fucking do it. Like, 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 I don't know, man. I just can't get over this fucking simping for the the Labour Party and Blair. Right. One one day, I'm going to do a stream going through all of the things that Blair passed, right? Yeah, no, and I all know. Of the th I know. All he of the legislated, things... like, literally Satan himself, right? Right. I but, know. But, but, but here's the thing. The th some of the things he brought in, the Tories have undone, right? I'll give you an example. Yeah. Blair um, had one of the most stringent asylum seeker policies in the world. 75% were rejected under Blair. He brought in stop and search. He brought in... Uh, I mean, so many, so many really hardcore bits of legislation, which the Tories, in some weird bid to be more libertarian or some bullshit, yeah. have weakened progressively over the past 13 years. David Blunkett, who is Blair's Home Secretary, looks like a far right fascist compared to what this Tory government have done since 2010. Yeah, but this this is like, I just feel like battered housewife syndrome or something. You, okay, look, my my new husband beats me twice as hard as the previous one, so we've got to go back to the previous one who beats me only half as hard. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake! I'm, I'm just saying, most of the immigrants under Blair were white poles, not. not... Yeah, and we don't want them. We don't want <laughs> yeah. them either. I mean, yeah, I was, literally, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't but care. If, if you if you had a choice between poles and non EEA immigrants who've gone they're up, they're all the like, same. They're all the same. Up, they're not. They're, let's be honest, though, they're yeah, not. Man, though, are they? Okay, reached, okay. Let me. No, no, let me I've reached that. levels of xenophobia where the distinctions between <laughs> foreigners just don't matter. <laughs> let, me, let me give another counterfactual to that. Yes, it, okay. Blair did all those things by asylum. What about Blair's uh, various bit, bits of anti-terrorism le legislation that are being used against British people as we speak? What about he didn't do the, that. He used them against it. He actually used them against. He actually used them against Muslims. Yeah, <laughs> yes, he, well, yes, but he knew. <laughs> he knew because he's not an idiot. He knew that they could be used if necessary against enemies domestic as well as foreign. You know what about devolution, which was his idea? 